This video will show you how to control audio for a classroom AV system. To ensure your students can hear you and your teaching materials, follow these steps. Program audio refers to anything you would play from a device, such as your laptop, an installed PC, or optical disc media. Ensure your device volume sliders are appropriately set. Also check your player volume. Finally, adjust the program audio volume on the touch panel as needed. For in-room amplification and capture for recordings or conference calls, a microphone is needed. Podium microphones are a straightforward and reliable option. They work very well for those who remain at the podium for lectures. Wireless microphones allow more mobility, but there are a few considerations that are vital for success. First and foremost, ensure that you have more than one bar of battery at the start of your class. Next, place the microphone at the center of your sternum for maximum pickup. Ensure there are no obstructions between the mic and your mouth, such as scarfs or bulky sweaters. Also ensure you speak in the direction of the microphone. Do not turn your head to look at the projection screen, for example. When finished, please turn off the mic to conserve batteries for other users. If you have followed all of these steps and are still having trouble, consider the following possibilities. For an SLX, check that the LED indicator light is green, amber is muted, and red is low on batteries. Check the antenna or mic cable for any damage. A lack of production value often presents in the classroom as being too quiet, muddled, or otherwise difficult to understand. In these cases, there is little our department can do in the way of solutions. If a lower quality video has poor source audio, we cannot permanently adjust classroom levels beyond the touch panel as it may damage equipment or other users' hearing. If you run into anything that isn't covered in this video, please email help at uw.edu. Thank you for watching.